Welcome to the Zaxby's Coaches Show, brought to you by First Bank, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Zaxby's Friends, Family, Flavor, with your host, Chris DeLambert, only on the NFHS Network, brought to you by New Image Media. All right, good day, folks. My name is Don Clayton. We are here with the Zaxby's Coaches Show here at Lee County High School. And I have with me Hector from the Zaxby's location here in Sanford. Uh, Hector, tell us what's going on at Zaxby's. What's new over there? I know you guys have some delicious chicken. You always have wonderful boneless chicken, bone-in chicken, wings, sandwiches, the Zaxby's salads, as you call the... Uh, the salad. The salad. So what, what, what's going on at Zaxby's? What's new over there right now? And what can our Sanford residents enjoy now at Zaxby's? So I know we talked about it a bit in the other coaches show, uh, coach show that we've had, but we, the new Philly, the chicken Philly, what it's called really, um, is the brand new thing that we've got going on. You can get it either fried or grilled. I've actually had it a couple times now, so it's pretty good. I definitely recommend people that haven't you know, tried anything like it. I know some of their competitors might have something like that, but not like us. It tastes a lot different. It tastes a lot better. So it's a chicken Philly, so is it, you said grilled or fried, so it's a, is it a, a chicken breast Philly or is it shredded chicken? Uh, tell us a little bit about how it's made and then do you have any combos that go along with it? Can you get fries and a drink, uh, any of that? Yeah, so when you get it fried or grilled, you can get it in a combo, so it comes with fries and a drink. But when you do it itself, so it comes with onions and peppers and also melted cheese on it. Um, as far as the Philly is concerned, it's, it's a bit of a, cons uh, you know, back and forth because it's shredded uh, grilled chicken or shredded fried chicken. So, you know, how with Philly, you got the shredded steak. Kind of like that in a sense. So it works out pretty well, though. It tastes pretty well. Um, you can do both, you know, and obviously give them both a try. I definitely recommend them both. They're really good. <laughs> All right. So that's the chicken Philly, folks. Again, this is the Zaxby's Coaches Show. We are here at Lee County High School. You can see the guys behind me practicing. They've got a bye coming up, but they're still practicing hard. They won't play again for about another two weeks. But once again, Hector, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sponsoring the Coaches Show. Again, don't forget to visit your local Sanford Zaxby's on Horner Boulevard, South Horner Boulevard, uh, Zaxby's across from Walmart. Thanks so much. We'll be right back after these commercials. Funnel cakes at Zaxby's? Sweet! Fried to perfection and dusted with powdered sugar? Sweet! Paired with a caramel sauce that's great for dipping, dunking, or drizzling? Sweet! Woo saucy! Zaxby's. Zaxby's new Philly. The garlic aioli, grilled peppers, and onions with melty cheese make it a Philly. But the chicken makes it Zaxby's. Try it fried or grilled. Woo, saucy! Zaxby's. Are you ready to sell your home and don't know which realtor to choose? Well, not all realtors are the same. I'm Crystal Copas, and I don't just stick a sign in the yard, throw it in the MLS, and hope to collect a commission. I provide a customized marketing plan that includes professional staging, photography, videography, and drone at no cost to you. Contact me, Crystal Copas, with REMAX Real Estate Service, and let's get your house sold. 919-356-5402 or visit me at crystalcopas.com. All right, folks, good day. We're back here at Lee County here at the Coaches Show. We thank Zaxby's for sponsoring the Coaches Show. But I have here with me now Merritt Fushi with First Bank. First Bank sponsors our players of the game for Lee County. And Merritt, we thank you so much for being here and sponsoring for us. I want folks at home to know that First Bank was voted the number one community bank, not just in the Sand Hills, not in Central North Carolina, but all of North Carolina. So congratulations on that achievement, Merritt. Tell us a little bit about First Bank and what you have going on at First Bank nowadays. Yes, sir. Well, First Bank is, we're so much different than any of the big national banks that are in our area. We're a family. You come in, we're going to know who you are. You can sit down, you can get us on the phone anytime. If you call, you have a question, we're not going to send you to a robot. You're going to call our number, and we're going to answer, and we're going to be there to help. Fantastic. What are some of the products that you're offering consumers now that you feel is pretty popular in this time of the season that we're in right now? So the biggest thing right now would be small business loans. That's what I specialize in. But we offer multiple products from home equity lines. We can do mortgages. We can do personal loans for boats, RVs, cars, anything like that. The best 
thing that we have going right now, though, is to help and grow our community in the small business world. Help and grow our community in the small business world. If you haven't visited Merritt at First Bank, please do so. They're located at South Honor Boulevard next to Golden Corral. Thanks again, Merritt, for uh, sponsoring our players of the game here at Lee County. And with that, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial timeout, and we'll be back with head coach Steve Bordeaux. 90 years ago, First Bank was founded. You know First Bank, the one where you are greeted by name, the one dedicated to the community, and the one born in the heart of the Carolinas. We help our customers to realize their dreams by providing financial solutions and building trusted relationships. My name is Rich Trogdon, and we are First Bank. At the Shed Depot of North Carolina, we believe there's a better way to buy a shed. One where all the selection, all the quality, and all the service are in one place to make your buying experience easier. Visit our sales center located just off US Highway 1 in Sanford, or get started today at sheddepotnc.com to view in-stock models, or to design your perfect shed using our 3D design tool. And folks, we are back here at Lee County. Lee County practice field with head coach Steve Bordeaux. Steve, thank you for being with us. We got a great squad behind us. They're super excited. I think they might be excited because we got a bye week coming up. I'm not 100% sure, but they get a little bit of a rest. But seeing you out there on the field working it doesn't seem like these young men are rest, resting right now. But I will tell you this. We've had two weeks of football since we last spoke. So tell us a little bit about Union Pines and then Hope County. What, what do you have to take away? What are the takeaways from those two games these past two weeks, coach? Yeah, I think defensively we played outstanding in both games. Um, we, we're focusing on small things right now. We just as we finish this practice in the bye week, that's that's what our, our goals are to fix us, um, and so we can continue to get better as the conference goes on and fix some small things that we see on offense and defense and defense, um, and as well as special teams. We're really, really, really pushing for some competition on special teams. So looking for some competition on special teams, you say. So specifically, what have you seen on special teams in the last two games specifically in the growth aspect of that? And you mentioned small victories. So tell us a little bit about a couple of the small victories that you've seen over the past couple of weeks in special teams specifically, and what are you working on in, during this bye week and that specifically? Yeah, so I, I think we've seen a couple of guys who stepped up and uh, have really wanted to go cover on uh, kickoff. I think some, a few guys have stepped in on, on punt and punt block um, that took over some roles. Um, and this coming up week, really every position uh, on our special team depth chart, they're on the hot seat. We want everybody to feel a little bit of pressure. Um, and a, a, if a guy wants to take that job, we're going to look for ways for him to take it. Sounds fantastic. We also have some young Yellow Jackets over here practicing next to us as well. So I believe that's the Lee County Lightning or the Brick City Tigers. But nonetheless, we've got some great, great young men here ready to play for you, Coach Steve Bordeaux, in the future. And they'll be here before you know it. Folks, I believe we've got six kids that are going to get awards tonight is that correct you got six trophies we're going to be handing out tonight coach is that right yes sir all right so we're going to be right back after these commercial messages with coach Steve Bordeaux and we're going to have the players of the game for the past two weeks wilkinsoncars.com come visit us at our new location in Sanford with the same great staff and the same great service test drive one of our many different vehicles Check out our state-of-the-art service department and collision center, where our team can have you back on the road in no time. We're right across from Walmart at 3335 North Carolina 87 South. Schedule your appointment online at wilkinsoncars.com or call us at 919-842-3322. We guarantee we're the place to be at Wilkinson Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. Lamco Homes, from concept to design, constructed to fit your lifestyle we use only top quality finishes to make our house your home lamco homes our standards are others options All right, folks, we're back here at the Lee County campus with Coach Steve Bordeaux. Coach, we have some players of the game, but first we're going to do the scholar athlete. So who is your scholar athlete this week? Coach Bordeaux. Uh, this week we went with Isaiah McKendall. Isaiah is a, a senior captain for us, um, works really hard in the weight room, in the classroom, on the field, um, and he was a scholar athlete of the week uh, versus Union Pines. How about Isaiah McKendall?
And my understanding is, too, Coach, is we've got some offensive players of the game. Tell us a little bit about your offensive players of the game for the past two weeks. All right, so this past uh, two weeks ago, we went with uh, a, we actually went with a special teams player of the week for our offensive player of the week. Uh, Kevin Rollins is a junior for us, made several plays on uh, special teams that set us up in good position for offense. So we went with Kevin Rollins as our offensive player of the week. Kevin Rollins, let's give it up. Congratulations, Kevin Rollins. And our defensive player of the week, uh, we went with Anthony Battle, another senior captain, uh, several tackles. Uh, I can't remember if he had interception in that game. It was so long ago. He had, he had interception in that game, too. Anthony Battle. Anthony Battle, give it up. Yeah. Coach, that was for Union Pines, correct? And now we're going to talk about Hope County this past week. Great victory against Hope County. Let's give it up for that victory, Hope County. Yeah. Excellent victory, Hope County. Coach, offensive player of the game for Hope County. Offensive player of the game for Hope County was uh, junior wide receiver Jaden Hill. Jaden Hill, let's give it up for Jaden Hill. All right, coach, defensive player of the game for Hope County. Defensive player of the game for Hope County is junior defensive end Ronnie Hooker. Ronnie Hooker, let's hear it up, Ronnie Hooker. Coach Steve Bordeaux, thank you so much. Have a great bye week, and then we'll see you in two weeks. Oh, we got, oh, we got one more, my bad, my bad, my bad. And this is an offensive defense. Oh, this is another, oh, my bad. We got a scholar athlete for Hope County. We got the one for UP, but I missed Hope County. My bad. Scholar athlete for Hope County. Is junior Terrence McKendall. Uh, he also had a very good game on defense, did a little bit on offense, did a little bit on special teams, but he's doing a lot in the classroom too. So scholar athlete of the week. <laughs> All right, coach. I'm going to say now what I was going to say. Congratulations. And in two weeks, we got Pinecrest coming up, but we have a bye week to prepare. Folks, thanks again for joining us. This is the Zaxby's Coaches Show, the players of the game brought to you by First Bank of Sanford. Thank you so much, and we will be right back at Southern Lee. Funnel cakes at Zaxby's? Sweet. Fried to perfection and dusted with powdered sugar? Sweet. Paired with the caramel sauce that's great for dipping, dunking, or drizzling? Sweet! Woo, saucy! Zaxby's. Zaxby's new Philly. The garlic aioli grilled peppers and onions with melty cheese make it a Philly. But the chicken makes it Zaxby's. Try it fried or grilled. Woo, saucy! Zaxby's. 90 years ago, First Bank was founded. You know First Bank. The one where you are greeted by name, the one dedicated to the community, and the one born in the heart of the Carolinas. We help our customers to realize their dreams by providing financial solutions and building trusted relationships. My name is Rich Trogdon, and we are First Bank. And we are now back at the campus of Southern Lee High School, home of the Cavaliers. We're here with head coach Fred Blanks. Coach Blanks is going to talk to us a little bit about some of the small victories that he took away and the rest of the coaching staff took away from the last two weeks, Richmond and Scotland. So, Coach, I'll give it over to you and talk to us a little bit about the small victories from the past two weeks. Well, uh, we, you know, we, don't, we don't do too much about, you know, concentrating on small victories. Um, we look at the big picture, but... Um, you know, the takeaway from, from the Richmond game was we started out real strong. Um, we was up 13-0. Um, so we kind of had our way with what we wanted to do. And then in the middle of the football game, the important quarter, the, third, you know, the, the second quarter and, and the start of the third quarter, we kind of lapsed, had some turnovers, um, and it gave them opportunity to score some points and go up on us. Um, so, you know, just, just you know, us, us focusing on, you know, doing better, you know, with turning the ball over. So the fourth quarter, we came back and we were able to throw the ball, which is something we had done, done all year able to throw the ball and have some success at and to score some points and, and stop them from scoring and, and kind of fight our way back in and give ourselves a chance. We recovered the onside kick. So just some of the things that we talk about that we want to work on in practice, we, we actually were able to do. So, you know, just if, if we clean up the turnovers and clean up the middle of the football game, I think that's it's a different outcome from that game. Thanks, Coach. And talk a little bit about uh, Scotland. You know, the weather Friday night wasn't ideal for most of the game. Tell us a little bit, do you feel as if the weather impacted your players at all in the performance of that game on Friday night? Well, I think the, the, the weather definitely impacted both sides of the ball because we weren't able to throw the ball like it would. You know, if, if the wind didn't get you one way, you know, throwing, taking the ball too far, then it kept the ball in the air the other way. 
Um, the rain coming down makes it hard to grip the ball. You see um, Scotland had four fumbles. We had a fumble early in the football game. So um, the weather did play a factor, but Scotland's a good football team. They were, they were a better football team, and, and we didn't execute like we were supposed to. We talked to our guys all the time about alignments and assignments, and that's what we just finished doing, watching film, and, and just showed the guys that, you know, all, you know, although we lost that game, most of the time when something happened good for them, it was because we had a guy who wasn't in the right spot. So just, you know, I, we know come, our takeaway is coming out and, and being able to do what we need to do and focusing on getting ourselves together as, as opposed to focusing on the other team. Because right now we got to fix something. We can't worry about what anybody else is doing. Thanks, Coach. This is the Zaxby's Coaches Show. We are here live at Southerly High School practice field. And we're going to be right back after these commercial messages with the First Bank players of the game against Richmond and Scotland. Be right back. Are you ready to sell your home and don't know which realtor to choose? Well, not all realtors are the same. I'm Crystal Copas, and I don't just stick a sign in the yard, throw it in the MLS, and hope to collect a commission. I provide a customized marketing plan that includes professional staging, photography, videography, and drone at no cost to you. Contact me, Crystal Copas, with Remax Real Estate Service, and let's get your house sold. 919-356-5402 or visit me at crystalcopas.com. At the Shed Depot of North Carolina, we believe there's a better way to buy a shed where all the selection, all the quality, and all the service are in one convenient location to make your buying experience easy. Our three acre sales center has over 60 sheds in stock. And if you don't see what you need, our sales experts can guide you through the custom design process to meet your unique needs. Get started today at SheddepotNC.com. And we are back here live at Southern Lee High School with Coach Fred Blanks of the Southern Lee High School Cavaliers. So now we're going to do scholar athletes. The first scholar athlete is going to be Richmond County. And then Coach is going to announce the second scholar athlete versus Scotland. Well, our first scholar athlete is a young man who, who, who works hard in the classroom. Um, he's an underside guy that's playing line for us, but he does a real good job of, of coming in and giving, giving guys a, a break. But he does an absolutely wonderful job in the, in the classroom, and that's going to be Donovan Martinez. Donovan Martinez. Um, our scholar athlete for, for, for Scotland, um, this guy, you know, he, he'll be the first to tell you that he's not a great, great student, but he just worked so extremely hard. At getting himself, um, you know, he's worked himself, you know, in, in the honors classes and all that stuff. And he's one of our, one of our guys who's been been playing since a freshman. And he does it for us, offensively and defensively. And that's Nathan Coley. Nathan. Um, our, our offensive guy for for the Richmond game. Um, this guy hadn't been able to, you know, play a whole lot. Uh, he he had a, a nagging hip injury, so which kept him from being able to play, do anything in games with, with except for holding field goals for us. But he came back against Richmond. He got himself healthy. Um, I think he had seven, eight catches for 135, 45 yards and a touchdown. Um, so he came back real big. He's our, he's our outside threat. Um, and our offensive player against Richmond is Brett Tate Blanks. Brett Tate Blanks. My defensive guy, um, and we just go ahead and do back to back since he's a defensive guy. He's going to be our defensive guy for Richmond and our defensive guy for Scotland. I mean, he's the engine that drives our defense. And he flies around, he makes tackles. He's, a, he's leading the conference in tackles. Um, he's always around the football. You know, he's, he's the guy that we look for to make big plays for our defense. So our, our defensive player for both games is Michael Tate Blanks. Um, our offensive guy for, for Scotland, um, I mean, this guy, you know, he, 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 he got injured against Eastern Randolph and hurt his, hurt his ankle. And it, kind of took a lot of his carries away, so he's been kind of down the last few games, and then go, Joe goes down with a bad ankle, and now he has to come in and replace Joe, and he did a real good job carrying the ball for us, um, you know, got some solid yards, some solid carries, and he also played on the defensive side of the ball for us, started on the defensive side of the ball for us this week also, so our offensive guy of the game for Scotland is Johnny Jones. Well, thank you again. Let's give it up one more time for these players of the game. Thanks, Coach Blanks, for being here. Good luck this week. They've got Pine Crest coming up this week. So we're going to wish them all the luck in the world. They're going to do a fantastic job. They're at Pine Crest this week. And so with that, I'm Don Clayton. Thank you so much for joining us on the Zaxby's Coaches Show. And this was the First Bank Players of the Game. Thank you. Take care. WilkinsonCars.com. Come visit us at our new location in Sanford. 
with the same great staff and the same great service. Test drive one of our many different vehicles. Check out our state-of-the-art service department and collision center, where our team can have you back on the road in no time. We're right across from Walmart at 3335 North Carolina 87 South. Schedule your appointment online at wilkinsoncars.com or call us at 919-842-3322. We guarantee we're the place to be at Wilkinson Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. Lamco Homes, from concept to design, constructed to fit your lifestyle. We use only top quality finishes to make our house your home. Lamco Homes, our standards are others' options. Welcome to the Zaxby's Coaches Show, brought to you by First Bank, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Zaxby's Friends, Family, Flavor, with your host, Chris DeLambert, only on the NFHS Network, brought to you by New Image Media. <laughs> 